Hey, good morning to the UMSA family. Well, this is day two of UMSA having rolled out its business continuity management plan. And we thought maybe just a couple of thoughts that we would like to share with you on how we went about doing it. So taking our lead from the presidential address on Sunday, um, agreeing that we'll take the 18th of A uh, March to the 13th or 14th of April as our cool down period, we immediately did a business impact assessment or actually a revision as we had one already. And also um, including in that a review of our processes, our products and our services, as well as updating our individual staff risk profiles. So um, looking at our staff, where do they fit in into our service delivery? What are their roles? Uh, what transport do they use to come to work? What is their underlying health condition? Where do they live? How many people in their households, etc. And coming up with a profile. Using this information to put together skeleton staff. Um, no more than three or four people at the UMSA offices on a daily basis. We've also put in place a strong discipline around the personal hygiene. You know, all the things we learn about spraying your hands and, and washing your hands and that sort of thing. We've all, we are also discour discouraging our members to, to actually visit our offices. Um, our digital platforms are really effective. We've tested them. We've put posters out um, at our offices to discourage people. But if you insist on visiting with us, well, you're going to have to make a declaration. You have to clean your hands, fill in a, a form, and we will gladly um, assist you in that regard. Over and above that, um, We've also made sure that all our high-risk staff are working from home, that they've got the capability to do so via um, their laptops and connectivity. And so from that perspective, our members should not see um, any impact on the effective service delivery that we can provide, um, nor any of our other stakeholders. Looking at our um, events, I thought we were really um, uh, um, diligent in um, postponing, not cancelling, but postponing our events that we've scheduled for March and April, and we will reschedule them and catch up from May onward. Um, from a marketing perspective and from other events perspective, nothing has been um, scheduled for March and April, so business as usual in, in that regard as well. We've been communicating with you, uh, keeping you up to date with what we're doing and how you can contact us. So please, there's absolutely no reason why we cannot help you in this period. Uh, use our digital platforms um, and be on the lookout for our mail stall. Be on the lookout for our risk alerts, risk chats. And um, please visit our website because we've got uh, our landing page for updating you on the coronavirus um, and all the happenings and ha as things unfold. Um, to keep you informed on how IMSA will be responding to this. Have a great day.